Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. In this video, we're going to go over my weekly stock picks for the week of August 15th through the 19th. Before we do, just to reiterate, not a financial advisor, make sure that you do your own research. Also, if you find value in the video, smash the thumbs up button, subscribe to the channel if you enjoy our content, and hit the notification bell. That way, YouTube can let you know every time we release new content. Also, guys, a new uh, feature on the channel is a super thanks if you guys appreciate all of the updates and the content. Uh, you're not obligated to, but they do have a donation button uh, that you can donate anywhere from like two dollars to ten dollars or whatever but again not obligated to just letting you know that is a new feature that the channel is eligible for so other than that guys let's dive right on into it all right guys so before getting into my picks for this week which is going to look a little bit different than we have in the past we're going to talk about my picks for last week so my picks were tesla s triple q and t triple q all right guys so tesla overall up right under two percent for the week we did fall as low as about 840 and then finished right at about 900 so if you could have played it right you could have got in low uh, here on uh, tuesday and then look to sell sometime on friday uh, s triple q you would have had to uh, sell uh, basically by Tuesday and again this one here guys remember usually no more than a day trade for me on S triple Q if the markets kind of red then you hop into this and it'll spike up and then you want to get out quick if you're up because again as you see what happens it, as the market recovers it'll fall down fairly hard and T triple Q I was up almost seven percent for the week so we'll see if we can continue that momentum into next week all right, guys, so my picks for this week, like I said, we're going to do it a little bit different this week. Usually, I pick three stocks. We go over the charts. I give you one to go on the watch list, and we um, we kind of go from there and break down the charts. Well, this week, we're going to go off of earnings. I'm going to pick one stock from each day, and then we'll break down the charts on those. And then next week, we'll track my win and loss percentage of uh, what I picked for the week. All right, guys, so on Monday... On Monday, my pick for Monday is going to be ZipRecruiter, right? And this is going to be reported after close. And my reasoning behind that is the jobs report. We had so many jobs come up on the last report, and uh, this you know, just kind of off of speculation is uh, it wasn't all by word of mouth. So I think that more and more companies are using ZipRecruiter. It's a good tool to find people in the workforce, and people are struggling to find people in the in the workforce. So they're probably using every single resource that they could to uh, potentially help. So I'm going to say Zip Recruiter on Monday is my pick on Tuesday. I'm going to go Walmart and Walmart just because and, and really all the picks that I have here, uh, most of them are, are going to kind of be a toss up. But for me, I'm looking at Home Depot. I'm looking at Walmart. Um, I think that, you know, uh, with the housing, I think that the lumber prices I don't know if they're they're going down or not, but I heard that the the, the housing market is kind of cooling down just a tad, um, and you know, in, in the midst of you know the, the last couple of months when things were so high, if I'm making a decision on, am I going to the store to buy lumber or am I going to the store to buy food? I'm going to go to Walmart obviously every single time, and I, and it doesn't matter what time of day, or well, I guess maybe the time of day, but. I can tell you that people are not going to stop shopping at Walmart as much as they hate shopping there um, because, you know, you have to check yourself out and it's always packed and this and that. So, but I, I just don't see, um, you know, Home Depot beating Walmart, but that's just my opinion. I could be completely wrong. That's my pick for Tuesday and that's happening before open. Okay. So my pick for Wednesday is going to be Target. Okay. And I think Target's kind of the, more of the upscale Walmart <laughs> okay but every time and I don't like going there either but every time I go there they are um, they're always packed every single time okay and I, it's kind of speculation I could be completely wrong here uh, just because you know people could be cut, cutting costs and instead of going here I'm gonna go somewhere cheaper that's just my uh, my opinion uh, third I'm sorry fourth pick on Thursday we're gonna go Ross all right if I have to I thought I thought about Maybe not picking one here and just doubling up on another day, but I'm going to make it interesting. I'm going to pick Ross because this is more of a cheaper discounted uh, type store. And, you know, people are gearing up to go back to school and they need some clothes. And 
you know, maybe they're going on summer vacation and they need to go and pick some, you know, get some clothes for their vacation. And you can get some some uh, some good material and good things over there uh, for a, a cheaper price uh, typically than you would see at Kohl's or Target or somewhere else like that, okay? And then the last guys on Friday, I'm going to say Foot Locker. We're going to go Foot Locker. And right here, I mean, people need to buy shoes. You always, you're always going to buy shoes. And I think kind of one of the same reasons is they have, you know, back to school. Um, back to school, I think, is going to uh, possibly see, you know, help like an influx of sales through Foot Locker. Although I have not been inside of a Foot Locker in years, guys. I go to Shoe Carnival because I'm cheap like that <laughs> and they have great deals of buy one get one 50% off which I actually need to go hit that up soon but um, these are my picks guys for earnings this week and uh, if this is before uh, before open on Friday is Foot Locker after open is Ross I've got to mention that so we'll do this guys we'll look at the charts and then next week we'll track my win percentage off of here I'm not telling you to buy any of these I'm not buying any of these I'm just telling you that these are my picks and we're going to track these for this week so let's take a look at the charts and let's see what they're telling us all right guys taking a look at zip recruiter ticker symbol zip out of all the ones i've picked i really feel confident really more confident about this one uh, after market closes is whenever the earnings are going to come out and based off of what's happening here is the run-up i kind of feel like it's going to continue to run up on monday and then possibly dip right before earnings and then if it's good, it'll make a recovery. Okay, so current support tried right about twenty dollars. Your first resistance is twenty two fourteen and twenty four eleven. Your overall um, your next level of support underneath twenty is seventeen thirty six and then thirteen seventy eight. Okay, next up, guys, we're gonna look at Walmart. Okay, Walmart here. Um, this is before market open on Tuesday, so you kind of want to see exactly what happens I see a dip coming in Walmart even if we pop up a little bit higher closer to that 134 level that's our first level of resistance and your supports 126 I see us falling down and um, you know sometime on Monday because people are not really sure what to expect okay and then if the the market happens to uh, or if the earnings come out and they're positive then you know it could start moving up and testing at 134 level and your next level of support I'm sorry resistance after that is about 139.25 and next up guys target pretty much the same thing that's before market open so you could expect it maybe to pop up a little bit and then maybe dip or just kind of chill exactly where it's at in anticipation uh, your resistance is 182.13 your support is about 162.35 red SMA lines down to 152 and just keep in mind it's pretty much oversold at this point so you want to make, maybe wait for uh, a dip on that there next up is Ross and Ross here is testing at 9071 resistance level we are oversold here I'm sorry overbought here and so I do expect some type of dip uh, coming in maybe coming into earnings uh, right before earnings and then your supports 8493 so you're gonna want to kind of keep an eye on it here it may trade in between you know 85 to 90 bucks for the rest of the week until um, the earnings come out unless there's some speculation coming out about oh it may be better then you may see it kind of rise up but overall red sma line right at about 80 bucks so even if we fall below that as long as we stay uh you know we, we fall below 84 as long as we stay and bounce off of about 80 you should be good there and foot locker Okay, Foot Locker, support of about 30, resistance 33.77, and this one here also flirting with overbought. So you could expect a little pullback here, as long as it stays above 30, that's something to keep an eye on coming into the earnings. The good thing about this one, guys, is it's all the way at the end of the week, and same thing with Ross, right? So you'll be able to see what kind of pattern is going to happen on this one here if it starts running up and up and up and up and up and starts coming coming out the gate swinging then you're going to want to basically ride it up until maybe thursday and then take profits because what will happen typically is you need to buy the rumor sell the news they think earnings are going to be great it comes up it comes up it comes up and then right before earnings it tanks because people are like oh, i'm not sure if it's going to actually be great or 
Not if it's going to tank. So that out of, you know, just safety, they'll get rid of it. Or if it just kind of goes back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, then what you're going to want to do is keep an eye on earnings pre-market. And if the earnings come out and they're positive, then you could always get in and, you know, ride the wave for a little day trade or something like that. So uh, on the watch list, uh, for one is obviously ZNOG because we're just, you know, obviously hanging on by every word they say or don't say. So <laughs> we're going to have to keep an eye on that. But next up, guys, a crypto Shiba Inu. I woke up this morning and we were up about 25%. Now we're down, you know, it's still up, but it's 21.25%. We've made two or actually gained, I think, four spots up to number 12. We were at 16, I believe, at one point, uh, but had a, a large, large spike up this morning. So I'm going to keep an eye on this one this week. And it would be nice for the momentum to continue. If you want to sort of bull run this week, go for it. <laughs> I wanted to buy some more, but you know what? If it wants to start moving, I'm all for it. So keep an eye on Shiba Inu as well. Uh, just kind of an unexpected move to the upside. So, all right, guys, that's all I got for you in this video. Let me know your comments below. Other than that, we'll catch you in the next one.